So sometimes we want to add some graphics or characters or images to our cakes and we all know that there's the edible printing way to do it which in my opinion is not the best tasting and if you do it by hand and have handmade character or image on your cake it just makes your cake look a lot more professional it just takes your cake to another level so today I am going to show you how to do that Okay, the super tool for today is the Gumtex Tie Loose Powder. I am going to apply some of that, a good amount of that, to my fondant until it's nice and pretty firm feeling, feeling so that once I roll it out really, really thin, this is gonna help it dry out fast. All right, I have printed out on regular paper the image that I want and I this is part of why you want your fondant to be nice and firm because I am just going to trace with a brand new X-Acto blade. I am tracing the whole shape, being very careful not to lose my place. So one hand is always holding my paper and the other one is doing all the cutting. See, it comes out really easily if your X-Acto is sharp. If it's not working out very well, get another X-Acto blade. You see how I am able to get even the smallest little details, the end of the eyebrow. That's it. And now I let it dry. Oh wait, actually I'm gonna cut a leg off so that I can put it next to the cake. While that is drying, I'm gonna work on the ice and I'm using the same printout, the same technique, cutting out each eye. Mm -hmm. You see how I'm putting the printout on top to make sure I put my eyes in the right spot. I glue them with a little bit of edible glue. I'm using a piping tip to cut the little decorations on the collar. We glue the nose and I'm going to place my printout on top and I'm going to mark all the lines and use that as a guide to paint them with some edible paint. I mix it with a little bit of vodka and I use a nice, thin, pretty new brush. This looks like I'm just freehanding it, but I'm not. I am actually just tracing all the little dots that I used. With my glue, I am going to attach a stick to the back because this puppy is gonna go on the side of the cake and not on top of a cake, I am leaving the ends of the wire, the floral wire, super short. If you're gonna use this on top of a cake, you wanna make sure you leave them, make them longer than what you think your, your, the height of your cake will be. And now check it out. This is how I'm putting together the cake and the usual filling, crumb coating, and all that good stuff and I am going to pre-cut all my decorations, decorations, a little bit of green grass or hills. And that's it. See, it's now time to decorate. Now it's time to decorate. I love this part. This is when everything comes together and you can see how all our hard work is just making sense. And that's it, it's time to put Clifford on the board of the cake. <laughs> this cake is ready. Mm. 
that's it. That is how I made the really cute handmade edible decoration. And this is how you take it from a 2D, de 2D decoration to a sort of 3D. I, I guess it would be a 2.5D decoration. It's all handmade. It looks very professional. The colors are sharp and professional. So I hope you guys give it a try. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please don't forget to share my videos and subscribe to my channel and hit that thumbs up. And I will see you guys again next week. So thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.